All right, so I'm in New Order, obviously, neworder.com. I'm in the wholesale section. Um, now, okay, to start, streamlining market appointments. Um, the number one thing that you can do uh, to streamline your market appointment is to prepare properly, right? And and how do you prepare a new order? I'd say the number one thing you can do then within your, your preparation routine is making sure that you are accurately creating line sheets, now, some of our best, um, you know, strongest uh, accounts in, in the platform and just, you know, very strong brands in general um, spend a lot of time in this line sheets tab and put a lot of energy and effort into this. OK, so I'm going to just go ahead. I'm in the line sheet tab and I'm going to click on this holiday. So a best practice here and what you should definitely do that will help your appointments is go ahead and make a line sheet for that season or for the selection that you are going to show during that market appointment or overall for that market you know um, you want to make sure when you make this line sheet that it is in the order that you are trying to sell in right um, so some brands they go ahead and they actually sell by fabrication so they go down they go through a list like this and they have it split up with headers of fabrication um, and they're going in that specific order and uh, they create the line sheet in that manner right um, this particular brand, well, our demo, and, and many actually work like this, they actually split the line sheet for that seasonal delivery by um, classification, right? And then maybe within that, uh, they'll split it up again within each classification. They'll split it by fabric um, or something like that. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're building the line sheet exactly the way that you're selling to mimic and present and prepare that selling um, that selling presentation for yourself so what's what happens is when you get to the appointment you go ahead you turn on your iPad the buyer sits down you click on the line sheets tab they tell you that they missed maybe you know holiday they want to look at holiday first you click on the holiday line sheet and everything shows up in a specific order for you to go ahead and tell the story to give that presentation to sell that product in in the manner that you know that you um, is routine for you and this is going to cut down from doing things like in the all product gallery gallery excuse me by using that search bar and searching for product you know or um, using the filters over here on the left side to search for a product. Like this is 100% a way that you can uh, drill into what you need. You know, you could always go, um, you know, into a specific delivery. Uh, and then from there, you know, go into maybe a specific category or, or whatever it may be. And then, you know, sell with those groups of product. But that's going to add time in the presentation when that buyer's sitting there and that time is crucial looking for the product. Right. You know, toggling down into certain groups um, and, and sort of keeping up with what the buyer's saying to you. So number one, preparation, creating a line sheet, making it um, uh, being a corresponding line sheet to the order in which you're selling. So all you have to do is sit down, open this line sheet. You can both follow along together. That's number one. Number two, a huge thing for us, and that's really been um, a huge time saver, are the scanners. So the scanning capability. Um, to set up scanners, it takes two seconds, literally. We can help you do this. It's in the back end. You know, we turn on the setting and we can use your UPCs or your scanning barcodes or ours or both. It doesn't matter. But we basically turn on this setting and all of a sudden your iPad is compatible with the Bluetooth scanner um, that we can give you all the information about. But you do buy it online on, on like Amazon um, and uh, the, the scanner just syncs with your iPad. And then all of a sudden you're able to scan all of your samples and they're going to pop up on your iPad. So, you know, this is, is huge. So basically, you know, the best appointments that I've seen, the fastest ones, were the rep actually could take the time instead of typing into the iPad, you know, speaking with the buyer. They'll go ahead, they'll bring up the holiday line sheet, the holiday samples will be set up in front of them, and they'll actually have that scanner, that little Bluetooth scanner. And, and as the buyer is saying, you know, you know, the, the rep is selling in this order, and as the buyer is saying, oh, I like that red dress, or whatever it may be, um, they can scan the sample and the style will pop up on the iPad for you to take notes, for you to put it into a recommendation, for it to go into a draft, you know, in the working order, whatever it may be. Um, and it makes the appointment considerably faster, um, especially if, you know, you're going to market pretty early and you have sketches in place and don't have great images yet. You know, you may be showing that sample 
and it looks great. And the buyer's like, oh, I like that. And they want to take notes and they want to add it to their working order. But they can't necessarily differentiate which dress it is, you know, on the line sheet because they're in sketch form. Um, you know, being able to scan it and then it pops up for them while they're sitting there is a huge, huge selling point um, and really uh, cuts time in these appointments. So, again, creating a line sheet. Using this scanner will save you a lot of time. Now, you know, the scanner also has added um, capability here. So the scanner, by turning on this function, it actually can print you labels immediately. So it prints you these labels with any information that you need on them for the style, you know, whether it be style number, style name, and wholesale, and MSRP, or, you know, whatever fields you want. We can print those off ahead of time. It has the barcode on them. Um, and you want to make sure that you print off extra sets of these. It's just plain little white labels. We have all of the information. It takes two seconds to print. Um, but you want to print extra sets of those. And why I say this is there's so many times at the trade show, too, where wear and tear on those samples. The model's trying them on and off. You know, maybe you ended up bringing a, a, a sample or the TOP to the show and the actual tagged sample, you know, was sent out for press. And so you have this sample and you, you can't. You don't know what it is, and you spend a lot of time trying to figure out the name and, and fumbling with the sample and, and trying to talk to, you know, talk the buyer through it. Whereas, you know, if you with new order, you can print out extra labels so fast and have them backed up so that you could easily retag an item no matter what happens to that sample. You know, whether you brought the right sample or not, or or the tag fell off. Um, make sure you know another best practice is to bring extra of those hang tags. That print off for you. Um, the other feature here that you should definitely prepare for this trade show that will make you guys faster is you can print a line sheet ahead of time that actually has the barcodes printed onto it. And what that's going to do is if, you know, let's say the buyer themselves is sitting there um, with the scanner, maybe they're the ones holding the scanner, and you're using two hands to show the line. They can be scanning the item on the line sheet and it pops up on the iPad for them to take a digital note. You know, there's many different ways that this can be used, but the fact of the matter is, you know, if there can be a line sheet with barcodes on it, you know, there's a lot of times in the booth where you're waiting um, to take notes on a style or to finish the order with one buyer because, you know, a buyer at the other end of the booth is using that sample and they have it railed up and they're doing their buy and so you end up waiting, right? Well, in, you know, with these extra hang tags, with these extra line sheets, you know, with barcodes, um, you can easily go through and scan that. And it's almost like holding the sample itself um, and allows you then to take notes digitally that much faster. So, um, you know, and if you guys are missing any of this, I just want you to get an overview and, and definitely call your account manager after this and, and make sure that you understand how to put all of these things in place um, so that your appointment can run that much smoother and faster uh, and cut out that admin time. Um, you know, next, what's really important, I'd say, you know, is this media tab. And, and we've mentioned this before in some of these webinars that, you know, it doesn't have to be just lookbooks. You can load other guides here. But, you know, loading that lookbook in here is, is also very important in making sure that you're hot spotted, right? So because a lot of times the buyer sits there and they flip through the lookbook that's sitting there on the table and they start asking about certain items and they want certain items on the order and it takes a while, you know, especially maybe if you have an intern working on that order or, or somebody helping them, you know, to go and locate where is that sample, what what is that sample that's actually on the model in that picture that they want. Um, so we can save time here by making sure your media for that season is properly loaded into this tab and you've also hot spotted it so they could flip through this seamlessly and, you know, understand what the style is and then add it to a line sheet or add it to the order of the notes um, instantly. So that's another form of preparation that's very, very key, especially if you're an account that sells via that the, those lookbooks or um, the media tab. You know, you want to make sure that you have all of the uh, functionality here being utilized. That will make you a lot faster. Um, the other thing is, you know, a lot of brands actually are taking these looks and they're also creating a line sheet of the look as a whole. So they're using that line sheet tab right here. Let's let's say let's just we'll go into well, just holiday again. Um, and they'll have instead of dresses here, they'll have it titled look one. And then underneath look one, they'll have the pants, they'll have the shirt, they'll have the cardigan. Um, and so it's a, just another way, depending on how you sell for the buyer to sort of flip through all of those looks and order, you know, um, or recommend, you know, make a line sheet right from that, uh, from a line sheet. 
So it, it totally depends how you want to present the line and sell the line. But uh, those are two options to sell into some of the looks. And I know merchandise looks are a big way to uh, to sell. Um, okay. Uh, another added uh, bonus that you guys should should take advantage of to make your market appointments a little bit faster and making sure that you're you're making most of that time with the buyer is pay attention to the product details here. Um, whether you're apparel or non apparel, this is super important. Uh, we can customize this to exactly the fields that you need. So if you feel like sometimes you're speaking to this buyer about, you know, maybe the country of origin or maybe the dimensions of the product or, you know, whatever the additional product details might be uh, part of the conversation, make sure that you address with your admin person on your team, possibly getting those loaded here so that when you are in that market appointment, when you do have that face-to-face -face time with your buyer, you're able to have everything in one place for you both to reference quickly and, and move on and, and not spend time looking for that um, information or those answers. Um, it will make the entire buy uh, an appointment that much faster. Okay. Um, you know, next, obviously, this is pretty much a no brainer, but uh, you want to make sure your contacts are loaded ahead of time. So if you're going to go to a market appointment or sorry, do you? to let's say coterie or to uh, an electronics trade show, any trade show for that matter, you know, you, you want to make sure that you have at least the account set up ahead of time that you know that you have a hard appointment with that you're going to see. And as a rep, I would 100% do this. I would go through, if I know I'm seeing five key accounts, I'd make sure I just check really fast. Are those companies here? Are they set up? You know, is it the right buyer that's attached? Um, just so that I can save time when I get to that market appointment, I don't have to worry about, oh, wait, that company's not set up yet. The buyer's not set up yet. You know, there are workarounds. But again, those take time away from that, that conversational face-to-face -face time that you have with your buyer. So that's another best practice to, um, you know, consult the contacts tab. Just make sure you're ready to go. And, and any, any admin that you need is done in advance. Um, and then, you know, a couple other things to note. Uh, you know, for some appointments, actually, the buyer is the one that's really taking the notes and, and, and uh, doing a lot of the the administrative work in the appointment and in that case depending on how the buyer works uh, we have a couple options so if the buyer wants to hold the ipad and maybe they have uh they they shop in a separate currency or maybe they are only supposed to see certain types of product or whatever it may be this select a retailer button if you trigger this drop down and you select whoever they are if you have certain settings attached to them certain visibility rules attached to them to this uh, account, then it will change the view of the iPad or the portal, if you're working on the, uh, on the laptop, whatever it may be, to exactly what they should be seeing, okay? Price point wise, currency wise, details wise, everything, product wise. So that's one way, you know, you can give the buyer the iPad or the web app, it's not a problem. Um, that's what this rule does here. That's what this full function um, is right here. It changes the view so that it is uh, in that buyer's, um, from that buyer's view, uh, viewpoint. Um, so it's select a retailer right here. Secondly, uh, some buyers tend to work off Excel. And, and by those buyers, I mean, you know, a lot of majors actually. So I, I was in wholesale for a long time prior to this and my buyers actually required that we'd send them something called a style master prior to the appointment. When they got to the appointment, and Style Master is just Excel of every style, you know, all of the information by line. Um, and so when the buyer got to the appointment, they took notes on that Excel and they used it in their own uh, internal POs and templates. So you can do that here as well. You know, so if let's say I wanted to go, let's say I open the entire holiday line sheet, select it all, I put everything from the whole holiday line sheet into the working order. I open the working order. If you use this export button now at the bottom, and I like number two, horizontal with images, and you go ahead and export this, you will get basically a style master. So you will get, and you guys should play with this in Excel, of all the information byline with the images embedded as thumbnails and even a place for that buyer to um, take notes. So uh, they can go ahead and take notes onto this Excel. They can add units they're thinking about onto that Excel. And if they send you back that Excel, it will upload into new order. 
So it's twofold and it uploads right here into this import button and we can obviously walk you through if you have any problems. So twofold there. If the buyer does send you back all of that information on that Excel, great. You can upload it. You have a nice record. If they don't and they just use it for their internal records, it still saves you time because those records that are going to come back will be 100% accurate with the right style numbers, color codes, everything because you know they lifted that information off of an Excel that generated from your system. So, uh, you know, both of those will make it them a lot faster, you know, in the appointment. Um, if they're not sitting there typing out the style number, if they can, you know, they have an Excel with a style number on it, the appointment's that much faster. They can concentrate on different things. Um, so, you know, understanding the way your buyer works, uh, that can determine which route you take. But, you know, those are, um, in recap, the key, uh, you know, the key processes that I would keep in mind that will 100% streamline your appointments. They will make you faster. They will make you more efficient. And they're honestly just going to make that time with the buyer that much more um, focused um, and well spent because you're not going to spend the time looking for samples and talking, you know, um, typing in uh, administrative information you know you'll have this presentation completely ready to go um, and it will just make the buying aspect of it uh, the focus of the time you know with with your buyer in that appointment so um, if anybody has any questions please contact your account manager and they would be more than willing to walk you through any of the things that we spoke about um, and then other than that uh, I hope everybody has a great holiday um, and a happy new year and hope to see you guys soon uh, at the upcoming trade shows. Okay. Thanks so much.